EPP, group uh, Sean Kelly. One minute, take a floor, please. Uh, good morning, Luke John. Uh, the case of Swaziland is certainly uh, very concerning for all of us. I mean, any country that declares a state of emergency in 1973 and the state of emergency still is there uh, 42 years afterwards, it tells its own story. And particularly the case is here of Mrs. Masuka and Makubo, the way they've been treated. Uh, and particularly I want to draw attention to the fact that the judge who presided at their trial was a judge who was criticised in uh, Masuka's paper. That tells you again uh, what respect there is really for a fair trial in Swaziland. And as people have pointed out, we have an EPA coming up here uh, to be discussed and approved, perhaps, by Parliament in the second half of this year. We should ensure, number one, that the state of emergency is lifted. Number two, these two gentlemen are released and other people in similar conditions. And three, respect for trade unions and particularly for women and the poor and try and get them to do something to give benefits to those poor people in Swaziland. Otherwise, we shouldn't agree with it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of uh, the Socialist and Democrats group, um, Mrs. Agnes Jungarius. One minute. Take a floor, please. Thank you. Uh, in August last year, Swaziland's Prime Minister Dlamini called for the strangling 